What is down everybody, it is your main course Little Pancake and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about something very, very serious and very important. Alright, this your life could depend on this. Today I'm going to be talking about squirrels. Let's start off by going by the common perception of a squirrel. Squirrels are goofy. Squirrels are harmless little creatures just running around, living their best life, right? Playing tag. They're definitely not actually chasing after each other, trying to bite the other one's testicles off so that they can't mate. And so that the one male that wins the uh, chase has mating, uh, you know, abilities over the other one. That, that's not what's happening. They're, they're playing tag, alright? They're buddies, okay? Let's be real here. They're just little buddies. They're just harmless little creatures, they're little fuzzballs. They look kind of like rats, but cuter. You know, it's a symbiotic relation. It's a not symbiotic. Wait, it's a mutualistic relationship, right? We give them nuts. Actually, I haven't given a squirrel a nut like ever. What do we give squirrels? Do we feed squirrels? Yeah, we put out bird feeders. People put out bird feeders and the squirrels steal the feed from the bird feeders. And in turn, they entertain us while we're walking around and we see them jumping from tree to tree. Sometimes they miscalculate their jump and fall 30 feet, but do they die? No, they get back up, and it's it's really quite the inspirational metaphor, you know? But today, I'm going to reveal the truth about squirrels, okay? Squirrel theory, perhaps. Now, I, I've come up with this over the last couple of days. I've been thinking about this hard. I've been thinking about squirrels, because I see squirrels, like, every day. They're all around campus, right? I see squirrels, and I look at them, and I'm like, you're suspicious. Now let's start about one thing that most people know squirrels for. And that's being in the road. Okay? Jumping out in front of you, looking at you dead in the eyes as you plow through them or swerve around them if possible. Many people think that this is just because the squirrel's head is about yay big and their brain is, well, probably about yay big. I think that this is incorrect. All right. Here's my theory. You know, you know how it's, it's very widely accepted and just agreed upon? that birds are government spies. You, they sit on the power line to charge and whatnot. You know how that's just kind of accepted? I think that you've got birds as the aerial spies, and you know who's on the ground putting in the grunt work? It's the squirrels. All right, hear me out. Somebody's died before because they swerved off the road to avoid a squirrel. It's had to have happened at least once, probably multiple times. I mean, squirrels probably have like multiple kills per year you know what i mean i think that when those squirrels jump out in the road right and they look at you and they go which way am i gonna go i'm actually not gonna go either way i'm just gonna stand right here and see what happens i think it's a hired hit that's a hit man all right that's a little small furry hit man think think about this think about this all right where have you been that you haven't seen a squirrel all right if there are multiple trees in an area there are squirrels in that area. Maybe in the, in the like, inner New York City, there aren't. But Central Park, they're all over the place, I, I think. I've never been to New York or Central Park. That kind of, I, I would have to have been to New York to have been to Central Park, wouldn't I have? I've never been to the Big Apple, just the giant peach. Get it? Because my name's James. I said literature joke. I've got, I've got, I've got stuff to back this up. Okay, these aren't just, just willy nilly claims. I've already given you some evidence, right? I mean, obviously squirrels use these trees to recharge somehow. I usually don't like look inside trees, you know, squirrel dens and whatnot. I don't, I don't, I don't investigate. But I would presume that uh, there's charging stations in there. I don't know the, the uh, schematics of it, but there's, there's something going on. There's something iffy, something suspicious. Another, another, uh, 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 supporting statement, all right? Think about squirrels in media, okay? Think around the squirrels in media. Have you ever seen a squirrel represented poorly in media? I mean, have you ever seen a movie or a TV show where there's a, a talking squirrel that's a, a rapscallion, per se? I haven't. I mean, when I think of squirrels in media, I think of, like, like Sandy from Spongebob. Right? That's like number one, probably one of the most famous squirrels, right? She's represented as a strong, strong-willed woman, you know, powerful, you know. She's going to take the world by its neck and shake it around and get what she wants. 
you know? She knows karate over the hedge. Think about over the hedge. That squirrel's just a goofy little fella. Just zipping around all, all hyper, right? It's a, it's a goofy representation, a fun, exciting representation of a squirrel that makes you really love squirrels, make you care about them, you know, see them as cute, harmless, little, goofy creatures. I have one piece of media of a squirrel that I think is a cry for help. A scrat from Ice Age. You know that little squirrel dude? It's always got his acorn, trying to catch it, you know? That, that guy's caused some carnage, okay? And I think it's a metaphor, all right? I'm, I'm looking deeper into the meaning of Scrat from Ice Age. Didn't he, you know, he caused, like, um, he caused Pangea, I think, right? Or was that, I don't know. Didn't he, like, break the world in half? It's, it's showing the destructive nature of squirrels, and people just write it off as goofy and silly, which is why it's still out there. If this was a direct call to action against the squirrel uprising, it wouldn't, we wouldn't see it. It wouldn't be in our homes. Mm -mm. Government would snatch it up like that. They might snatch this video up. It's a big breakthrough that I'm having right now. And I'm warning you. Stay safe. Hug your children. Kiss your dog. Okay? This is, these are just these are reasons I think that you need to be careful. Alright? If you make eye contact with the squirrel, Say hi, wave, all right, because that's a sentient being. We see those little heads, we think there's not much going on in there. Mm-mm, nope. But let me tell you, there's a lot going on in here, huh? This little thing right here, a lot happening in that. That's not very big. That was a pretty bad point, but it still kind of works. They're brainwashed, first of all. I think that um, the government, I mean, the U.S. government, man, they're slippery. They're tricky, right? Think they brainwash these squirrels, right? They uh, they gotta, they they're getting them to do their bidding, okay? They're keeping tabs on us, cause I mean, you don't think about what you say when there's a squirrel next to you, do you? You just talk. Stay safe. Thank you very much for watching today. Thank you very much for listening to my spiel. I hope you all have a uh, absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Like I said, keep an eye out. Be careful. Smash like and subscribe if you are part of the re rebellion. I would like to uh, make a formal uh, statement that this was a satire video, and that um, that I did not mean any of the allegations. In, sorry, sorry. In any of the allegations towards the uh, squirrel population in America. They, I know for a fact that they are not uh, spies for the US government and that they do not work in correlation with the CIA they also are not in correlation with the IRS and are not the reason Al Capone was convicted of tax fraud um, this video was satire and the squirrels are of no danger to you or your family. Was that good? Was that good? Yeah? What, what's that? Okay. Squirrels are also very stupid. You really want me to say that? Okay. They are unintelligent beings and should be looked over as if they are no threat to your existence. Thank you very much for listening and understanding. Do not spread the word of this uh, theory, for it is not real. Thank you all. And what, dude? How would you even get a macadamia nut? Was that a macadamia nut? No, 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 I, dude, I did I didn't, I didn't mean it like, like, I'm not attacking, quit being squirrely. No, no, I didn't, I didn't mean like that, I didn't, no, no, calm down, calm down, calm down, I didn't, I didn't mean like that, okay, we're, we're friends, we're friends, I look, I just made the, I just made the thing, I just did exactly what you told me to, okay, calm down, calm, no, I, listen, no, that, I didn't mean it in a racist way, I didn't, no, I wasn't trying to offend you, no, no, there's no need to pull, there's no need for that, there's, no, 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 stop, no, 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 no